It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of The Drugless Doctor. We are going to be talking about a condition that literally impacts billions of you right now, and billions of dollars are made and generated from medications. And right now, I am sure that you're probably suffering because you see little particles floating in the air, allergies. What I'd like you to do right now is go to our website that's been posted on the screen, druglessdoctorsdrs.com, and go to blogs and download the notes from today. They are phenomenal notes and give you a better understanding of what allergies are in your body. And as I know that so many of you are tired of taking drugs and medication, but you're also tired of those itchy eyes. So I want to share with you, very simply put, an allergy is your body's response to a foreign invader. Now, Dr. Anthony, Dr. Case, and I don't suffer with allergies like many of you do. So if the three of us don't, that means all of you watching us right now shouldn't be either. It really is amazing to me when you're watching the weather and they're talking about the amount of pollen there and that the allergy season is high. Let me tell you this, if you suffer with allergies, there's a couple things going on in your spine that we're gonna talk about in detail. You may have misalignment in your spine. You may be eating foods that are irritating your immune system because they're undigested protein particles. And it's possible that you might not be drinking enough water. So if you have the sniffles right now and you're sitting on the couch and your nose is red and your eyes are itchy, you want to call a friend, text a friend, because this has the potential to change your life. Dr. Anthony. Now, when it comes to allergies, it's really interesting because we're breathing the same air right now. So how come an allergy or an allergen might affect one person versus another because it's the same air? So what it is, is it's how it, it, the air interacts with our internal body. Now, it's really interesting when someone takes a over-the-counter medication, it just covers up the symptoms of what's going on. So just like Dr. Bob mentioned today, we're gonna to be discussing several different areas that contribute to allergies. Now, one might be more um, important for yourself when you're paying attention to this, but it's really important that you grasp some of these pieces because over-the-counter medications for allergies, they just cover up the symptoms versus getting to the root of what's causing some of the allergy problems, which we're gonna be discussing here today. So Dr. Kaysen, why don't you discuss with us a little bit about some of the side effects someone might uh, get if they were to take an over-the-counter medication for uh, allergies. I'm not sure if you've seen these drug commercials. This is absolutely crazy. You'll see someone running through the field of flowers and then across the bottom screen, you see that the side effects are nausea, dizziness, runny nose, seizures, headaches, and then they'll tell you, but don't take it if you have a heart condition or a thyroid challenge and um, don't operate heavy machinery. And if you do operate heavy machinery, make sure that you sleep before you do that. Um, I have a better way for you. There is a better solution than all of these drugs and side effects and it's called chiropractic. And you might be thinking, how does chiropractic help with my allergies? And that's a great question. We're gonna talk a little bit about the nervous system and why it's so important to get adjusted to help boost your immune system. Now, in your skull here, the brain sits and it travels down as the spinal cord in the nervous system. And if you can see, all of these yellow delicate nerves go to every cell and tissue in your body. And most importantly, when working with people that may be suffering from allergies, we tend to focus on the upper neck. These nerves go right to the sinuses. Also, the nerves here go to your lungs. So if you have any kind of misalignment or what we call a subluxation in your spine, you may not have the proper energy to those nerves and you may not be healing at 100%. So number one, we wanna make sure your immune system is strong and then we wanna work on some of the things that you could be eating that could be causing different sensitivities in your body. And you could be eating too much of things that you may think would be good for you, causing that sensitivity, which would cause the allergy. Dr. Bob. Well, I'm gonna tell you, there is some really important information that Dr. Kaysen just shared with you. So we know 
that the nervous system controls the function of your body. There are many reasons for you to have misalignment or subluxations in your spine. And one of them that I'll, I, it's so obvious is what we call techno neck. And techno neck is because so many people have their head in the forward position. And what that does is it compresses those tiny, very sensitive nerves that go to sinuses. And even in our practice yesterday, I had someone who came in and they were just talking about that they were having some symptoms of, of cold and they weren't feeling 100%. If you have a cold, now listen to this, more than three weeks, it's not a cold. It's an allergy. Now, we use that term allergy very um, widespread. The allergy itself is that your body is seeing something as a foreign invader. So our whole approach is like very multi-folded. If you have misalignment, let's say of the second cervical up here, those nerves go directly to your sinus. But one of the benefits of making the wise choice to come into our office is that we look at the entire spine. So we also know, this is going to be big, big news for you, if the vertebrae in your mid-back are subluxated or out of alignment, those nerves go to your stomach. So I know, we know, that a chronic digestive issue is probably one of the leading causes of allergies because, see, when you take in certain foods, if they're not digested properly and they go through the voyage and the little train ride through your intestines and you have basically what we call a leaky gut or digestive distress, those undigested proteins are looked at by the body as a foreign invader. So I'm going to throw out just a thought to you right now. Choosy mothers don't choose Jif. Now I'm not picking just on Jif. If you are a peanut butter eater, people who consume peanut butter, from my experience, have greater potential to have chronic allergies. There's mold on peanuts. And another food item that we see that causes much distress, and people have their passionate addiction to this, happens to be dairy products, especially yogurt. So if somebody comes into our office and they're putting yogurt on their sugared cereal and having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch or for dinner and their nose is sniffling, you could take all the over-the-counter remedies your entire life, you won't get better. You might manage some symptoms, but you'll perpetually have allergies. Just as if you came into our office and we did a tremendous non-causing any type of pain spinal adjustment and you feel temporary relief, you have to get your hand out of the cookie jar, out of the yogurt tray, and out of peanut butter. Almond butter is much better. Dr. Anthony, let's give them some more insight. Now, it's really interesting when working with individuals that suffer from allergies. We use one product in our office called Histoplex AB. Now, Histoplex AB is a proprietary blend of different herbs that are designed to help promote uh, healing of the immune system when it comes to allergies. So just like Dr. Bob was talking about earlier, allergies is usually a system-wide attack, but a lot of times it'll result in people with watery eyes or running nose or fogginess or digestive distress. What Histoplex AB is it helps to provide relief to the immune system so that your body can fight what's going on. But just like Dr. Bob mentioned, it ends up just being a cover. And it's way better to get to, to the root of why you might have allergies versus not doing something that gets to the root and just covering it up. So I want to pose this question to you. How many people have seen somebody that's walking around and it's light outside and they have sunglasses or they're indoors and they're wearing sunglasses because bright light bothers their eyes. Now, if bright light bothers your eyes and I'm speaking to you at home, you could have adrenal dysfunction. Now, it's very common that people that suffer from allergies have adrenal dysfunction. So what does that look like for you? You might have a 10 hour night's sleep and you wake up and you're still tired or you have a lot of stress that's going on in your life. Now the adrenal glands are glands that sit on top of the kidneys and they secrete different hormones in relation to stress. So it's really important that you're supporting your adrenal glands and if allergies affect you, you might have weak adrenal glands. So some of the ways that we support someone that has adrenal dysfunction is with Celtic sea salt. Now Celtic sea salt is a tremendous product and we talk about this on a regular basis because Celtic sea salt has a lot of minerals in it. So Celtic sea salt is an unrefined salt whereas table salt is refined and processed by chemicals. 
you're getting minerals from the ocean when someone uses Celtic sea salt, and that will really help support your body when it comes to adrenal dysfunction. Now, there's a variety of other things that we use in our office in order to help support someone's adrenal, one of them being Cytozyme AD, standing for adrenal tissue, that we can give you as a supplement to help support it. I've had people that their sleep improves, that their fatigue goes away, that their allergies goes away. When their adrenals come back to normal, they're just so, so super happy. So if you know somebody that's wearing sunglasses and they're wearing them at night or in the house, they definitely need to have their adrenals checked out. Now, what is another tip when it comes to allergies there for us, Dr. Kaysen? Also something that I was uh, just thinking about with your digestion, you might have some specific body signals for example, like a, a loss of meat um, taste. So you don't crave meat or you could just do without having meat. Also, you could be having some bloating or indigestion, especially after meals. Other things that link to the digestion, your bowel movement. So you wanna be having at least two or three bowel movements every day. That could be a body signal that you would need some extra support for your digestion. And in our practice, we use a couple things to help support your body with overall inflammation and healing. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is Intenzyme Forte. And this is a great nutrient to help support your body to get rid of that inflammation that could be causing digestive distress, but also that mucus could be in the sinuses. And you wanna take this with meals to help support your digestion. Another thing that we use in our practice is called uh, Hydrozyme. And Hydrozyme is a great nutrient to help support overall digestion and to help with that HCL, which is that hydrochloric acid in your body. A lot of people from our experience do not have enough acid in their body and they're unable to break down those particles that Dr. Bob was sharing that could be hanging out and lingering, causing that sensitivity in your body. Dr. Bob. Well, tell you, it's a lot of really wonderful information, and we're going to take a short break, and we're going to be right back. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here, I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform. It's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really, wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise. We do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature, we're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted, 
or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition, go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments that can tell us what supplement is gonna be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The Drug List Doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media, our website, our blog. We do TV programs. So we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that. Or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day, that's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people in their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria, and I'd like to welcome you once again to The Drugless Doctor. We've been talking about a very common condition, which is allergies. I'm going to encourage you, if you just tuned in, to go to our website, which has been posted on the screen, www.druglessdoctors, and that's drs.com. Go to blogs, and then download this particular outline that has to do with allergies. I want to do a little bit of a recap and add a few other different nuggets to you. Dr. Anthony was talking about the Celtic sea salt. And what we have learned over time is that your, your body uses B vitamins and the minerals in Celtic sea salt to make digestive enzymes, as Dr. Kaysen was talking about. So this is a puzzle. And everything works together to make the puzzle be complete. So if you cry easy, if you have sore muscles, after exercise, if mosquitoes like you, those are body signals of a need for B vitamins. And there's another item I wanna just throw out to you just to chew on a little bit, no pun intended with that, is in my studies for my natural health degree, I took a class in avaretic medicine, which is Indian medicine, not American Indian, but Asian Indian. And there's a term, and I want you to write this down, it's called the alma. Alma has to do with energy in the body. So if you woke up this morning with a white, thick, pasty tongue, and you're brushing your tongue, but tomorrow morning you wake up and it's back, that's a body signal to us that you're toxic and you have poor digestion. So I just thought I'd throw that out to you also. Now I'm gonna tell you another little known secret. During seasonal changes, fall and spring, if you tend to have more allergies, which I know most of you do, it's very possible you could have a deficiency of iodine because without iodine it impacts your thyroid gland. And we test our patient's thyroid through a blood test for a TSH, a T3, and a T4. Those are just serum numbers that we look at. But if you have subpar thyroid function, your allergies could possibly be helped by iodine supplementation. Now, I'm going to encourage you, we're going to be posting this on the internet at our channel on YouTube, which is Drugless Doctors. You're going to want to review this because I'm going to scare you a little bit. I've had individuals come into our practice that have literally had their sinuses drilled to make the holes bigger in their skull for their sinuses to drain. I had one person had that done eight times before they made the wise decision to come into the practice, we checked their spine, misalignment, second cervical. They're doing too much dairy and peanut butter. And I want you to know, as God has my witness, after their very first adjustment, they got off the table and they had this big old grin on their face. 
their sinuses were finally clear. And that could happen after a motor vehicle accident that you could have subluxation in your neck. Dr. Anthony. You know, it's really great. One of the things that we see commonly after an adjustment is that somebody's sinus is clear, and we jokingly say that was faster than Benadryl because the information that our brain sends to the body is at the speed of light through our nerves, and our nerves control all the functions of our body. So one of the underlying topics that we've been talking about here with allergies is digestion. Digestion is so super, super important when it comes to allergies. So if you suffer from allergies, besides having adrenal dysfunction or subpar thyroid function, we know that your digestion is definitely compromised. Now, how many of you out there like to eat the following items and drink? Bread, cheese, wine, beer, anything that is fermented, even yogurt. So in these products, Anytime something gets fermented, it creates a product called histidine inside of them. It's a part of the fermentation process. So what you're going to say, well, that kind of sounds like histamine there, Dr. Anthony. Well, it's very close relative of histamine is histidine. So it's one chemical reaction away from being histamine. So if you like the items that I mentioned, wine, beer, cheese, bread, yogurt, other things that are fermented, you could be suffering from chronic allergies because of those products. So there's so many out there that are just passionately addicted to cheese, whether it's Munster or Swiss or American or provolone. I'd encourage you to put those items down because they're affecting your digestion. Now to go back to what Dr. Bob and Dr. Casey were mentioning earlier, your digestion's then off because you have that product histidine that's close to histamine, which creates an allergic reaction in your body but it's also because of the foreign undigested proteins that takes place in your digestive system that Dr. Kaysen was mentioning for the nutrients that she recommended like hydrozyme and intenzyme forte help get rid of those undigested proteins. So let's talk a little bit about some simple strategies that you can do in order to help improve your digestion. Now, how many of you out there right now actually chew your food? Now, I'm talking to you. I know what you do is you bolt your food and you literally put it in your mouth and it goes all the way through you because you never even chewed it. So take some time and chew your food. Now, if you're really bad at doing this, one of the strategies that I'll have you do is pick up chopsticks. Now, chopsticks are a great way because they're not easy to use and it'll cause you to take more time to eat your food because sometimes individuals eat way more than they need to because they are eating so fast. So chewing your food is a great tip when it comes to helping to improve your, your digestion. Also, when you chew it, it's the natural process of starting to break down your food. And believe it or not, there's different enzymes that are released in your mouth that it tells your stomach, hey stomach, make the right type of acid in the digestive juices to break this down. Now, if you don't chew your food, you don't end up getting the right type of acid. So these are just some great tips when it comes to digestion. So Dr. Kaysen, what's another tip for us when it comes to improving your digestion? B before I talk about the tip, I can just see people doing some of these at home right now about chewing the food. Um, we don't want to pick, any, uh, pick on anyone, but you really do want to concentrate on closing your mouth, chewing your food, um, just taking away any other distraction. So for example, a lot of people, they might get home from work, they're watching TV, they don't even pay attention to what they're eating. But the portion size is so important also as far as helping your digestion to be able to assimilate and get those enzymes moving. Now, if you're following along with the uh, outline that you have in front of you, the next thing we're going to talk about is increasing your water. This is really something simple that everyone can do. Your goal is to be drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water. And the type of water you want to be drinking is you want to be drinking some kind of filtered water. Whether this is reverse osmosis water or maybe you have another filtration system in your home, you want it to be living, fresh, filtered water. This is going to help with your digestion. Now, a tip for yourself is you don't want to be drinking any kind of liquids when you're eating your meals. This will impact the pH of your digestion and it could cause 